Uh, take that question and what was the question asked by a friend is we did trillium in the last class can the indication important indication of trillium was it can be given for threatened abortion now the question your friend has is sir for threatened abortion should we think of a state prescription or should we think of a constitutional prescription is the question she has come up with see now Trillium, or you know, if you are talking of threatened abortion, generally it will be a state prescription. Meaning, we will look at what caused threatened abortion, okay, and what is the character of blood, and what was that emotional state before she went, went into threatened abortion, ailments from one theory. So we generally take up an acute totality and we prescribe, okay. So in threatened abortion, if you are asking me. Specifically, it will be more of a state prescription. Now, when is the role for a constitutional prescription in uh, threatened abortion? In threatened abortion? Okay, see for example, she had, in the past, she had some two, two, three times she has had a threatened abortion. Hmm? Okay, then you can think of a constitutional remedy. Hmm? She is prone for threatened abortions then you can think of a constitutional remedy. Otherwise, in a given case, take up an acute totality. And I was trying to tell you, whenever there is blood, whenever the lady is bleeding, okay, first thing that should come to our is, which is that emotion which can bring in uh, bleeding? Hope my question is clear. Which is that emotion which can bring in bleeding? Huh? Anger. Anger, anger. So you can directly ask her, what was she angry about, okay, or on whom was she angry about, and what was her reaction for anger, okay. Many times we have seen in threatened abortion, the ailment we get is uh, suppressed anger. Mother-in-law, father-in-law, husband, somebody, mother, any damn person, they were very angry, and they were not able to express their anger. That could be the uh, probable reason, probable ailment for for uh, threatened abortion. It could be, you can explore. Okay, we'll come back. Uh, clear again, yeah. Image, Atva, Bhagavan, Muchkaka. Okay, chalo. See, we will, uh, we finished trillium and I also spoke to you about plumbum. Okay, hope both the remedies are clear. Any questions? If there are no questions, we'll start with a brand new remedy. Hopefully, 35 to 40 minutes, we'll try to finish uh, a small remedy. See, when you look at this image, I know I am uh, teaching for a final year student. So when you see this image, lot of things will come into your mind. At least I assume lot of things come to your mind. So as a final year student, what are all the things that come to your mind? Okay, very good. So you have, you have the knowledge of medicine that you are using it. Must be this gentleman has uh, migraine. It's possible. And it could be headache because of tension. So you are trying to explore as a medicine student what could be the probable causes for his headache. Is one the possibility. Okay. Now apart from that, what else are you looking at? Okay, headache on the migraine or tension headache or anything else that you would like to comment. Hmm? Okay. It could be, I mean this is highlighted, it could be unilateral headaches which typically happens in migraine, okay. So as a final year student, you are looking at different causes for headache in this person, as a medicine student. Now, if you you also study repertory, you also study material medica, okay. So if you, if you are a repertory student, what are all the next questions that will come up? Okay, where is the location? What is the sensation is been having? Adela Bharata, okay. And if you are looking at the material medica, point of view, then what will be my next question? As a final year student, what are all the common remedies that comes to your mind when we talk of headache? Okay. So what remedies come to your mind? Very good. Netrenur, Glonane, Glonane, Netrenur, Belladonna, Ignatia. Beautiful. What is that uh, thing you have in Ignatia? Ignatia, Ignatia. Very good. What could be the simple totality of ignition? Ignition headache. Two, three points. 
okay, more than that, or headache which comes because of an emotional ailment. You get stressed, you get disappointed, okay. Uh, somebody dies, you go into grief, you might land up with headache. Now what is the speciality of Ignisha headache? They will have pain, pain in spots. But sir, see this part, only this part. Not my entire head is paining, only this part. And something that they point with their finger, this is Ignisha. Okay, pain in spots. So Ignisha, Netrimir, Belladonna, any other remedies? Next one, Mika, good. Huh? Sanguinaria, Jelsimia. Beautiful. Heliborus, Menyanthus. Okay, good, Menyanthus. I mean, I know, as a final student, there will be scope even for rare remedies. Okay, Sanguinaria, very good. Today, I will talk or I will introduce a remedy to you which is commonly thought of for headaches. I thought, like you said, Netrum, like you said, Sanguinaria, Menyanthus. Next time, when somebody asks remedies for headache, this is the remedy that will be topping the list. And we'll try to understand what this particular remedy has to offer under the head. Okay? Any quick guess from your pharmacy, from your pharmacy knowledge, what could this image be and which is that remedy I'm going to discuss. Okay, you see, I mean, I actually wanted this to come and then I wanted this to come. The common name of Spigella is pink root, warm grass and the tincture of the entire dried herb is what we use. And I wanted this image to come. Some issues with the animation. No, no problem. So Spigella anthelmia. Spigella anthelmia is the remedy that we are going to discuss. Very important remedy. A short acting remedy. I will give you a picture which is going to help both in your practice and in your uh, theory exams. Both. Okay. Now, Spigelia, when you look at Spigelia, one very important action of Spigelia will be on the nerves. Nerves, nerves. These are plumbum acting. What did plumbum do acting on nerves? Paralysis. Yeah, it caused as serious as paralysis. It was a deep acting remedy, it was a metal. Now what is this plant, Spigelia, doing acting on nerves? See the beauty, see the variation and try to understand. Any homeopathic remedy acting on nerve will not cause or will not result in the same condition. Okay? Plumbum cause paralysis, plumbum cause convulsions. Now what is Spigelia doing? Spigelia is having a very specific action and that action is on trigeminal nerves. I'll repeat. Spigelia is acting on trigeminal nerves. Clear? Boys? Huh? So acting on trigeminal nerves, what will Spigelia do? Very good. Beautiful. It is causing trigeminal neuralgia. So from your ENT classes, from your medicine classes, you can recall what trigeminal neuralgia is. Okay? And Spigelia is one very important remedy for, for trigeminal neuralgia. We will explore a little later. And the second important area is it acts on ice. Ice, ice. Okay? And I know you will be knowing many remedies acting on ice. Starting with? Euphrasia. Euphrasia to zincum or euphrasia to sulfur. There are a lot of remedies. Your friend is talking of Ruta. What will Ruta do? What will Ruta do? Ruta will act on the muscles. Muscles of the eye. You should have that clarity. In Ruta, you will not have conjunctivitis. You are getting my point. In Ruta, there is no inflammation. Conjunctivitis agalla. In Ruta, it acts on the muscles. Muscles of the eye. Eye muscles going into strain. Visual disturbances. And all those things. All those things. Okay. So that is Ruta for you. Fine. So, Ruta, Euphrasia, Sulphur, Zincum, lot of remedies. Jelsimia, Netrimur, etc. What is it? Cineraria maritima. Okay. It is a specific remedy for uh, cataract. You would have uh, heard or seen Cineraria drops in the pharmacies. 
and they say Sinaleria can prolong, prolong or it can push the formation of cataract, that is Sinaleria. Very good, no problem. So we will also try to explore what Spigelia can do acting on the eye. Hope I am clear. Okay. Now the third area is teeth. Uh, Dr. Fatak in, in his Materia Medica, he says fibrous tissue, okay, connective tissue, fibrous tissue, it also acts on the joints, we will discuss and one specific area you see this remedy acting is on teeth and we will also try to explore what it causes. Another very important area is heart, okay. So when I say spigelia, four things will come to your mind. The first and foremost is nerves, nerves. Now the question is, is it acting in general on all the nerves? No. It is not that deep a remedy that it can affect all the nerves. Fine. It has got a specific affinity for trigeminal nerves. Clear? Okay. Then eyes, teeth and heart. We will slowly try to explore. See now, one area we Practitioners use Pygelia, yes, we use Pygelia for headaches. Somebody used the word sanguinaria, who was that? Okay, what is the specialty of sanguinaria? Very good. Okay, can somebody help Ullas? What is that? Very important. I am I'm okay with it, like you know, sun headache, vertex. But when we say sanguinaria, what is that one point that should come to us? It is a right sided remedy. When? Sanguinaria is a right sided remedy. Headache starts in the occiput, not in vertex. Headache starts in the occiput, slowly ascends up and settles over the right eye. Sanguinaria. What is sanguinaria? Right sided right headaches. Beautiful. Good. It's got beautiful indications. I am limiting to headache. Okay. Similarly, when you talk of spigelia, there is something that is very, very strong, very characteristic in Spigelia. We will explore that. So, I will be explaining Spigelia under, uh, uh, you know, the headaches, the neuralgias, eye, teeth, heart, and if time permits, we will try to take up the GI affections of Spigelia. This is what I have planned for my next 30 minutes class. Okay. So, when we look at uh, Ailments from, ailments from sun. Can I have some remedies quickly? Natrium, glonin, beautiful size, huh? selenium, antimonium code, yeah, the other Very good, antimonium code, good, keep it up. Antimonium code, we many times forget antimonium code. Natrium, yeah, all natriums. And which is the natrium which will have uh, highest aggravation of sun? So we know mirror, we know self, we know car. Any other netrum you are aware of? Netrum car. Netrum car is the netrum which will have highest sun aggravation. Fine. Few seconds I can't go out under sun. I have vertigo, I have headache. More than netrum mirror, it is netrum car. Okay? Fine. So antimonium, crudum, guanine, netrum car, belladonna, selenium. Okay. Sanguinier itself. You told sanguinaria, sun headaches. Okay? Lot of remedies. So you can also add spigelia having ailments from sun. Ailments from tobacco. I mean I know I got this cigarette, but it is in general tobacco, ailments from tobacco. Quickly the other remedies. Very good, next one. I like the speed. Good. Next one ignisha. What is special in ignisha? What is the difference between Nux and Ignisha? See, both, both if you remember, they belong to, they belong to which family? Solanese, fine, Ignisha and Nux. Okay, and uh, even the alkaloid, there is some similarity. Ignisha, especially an Ignisha girl, you know, her boyfriend is smoking, okay? When the boyfriend smokes, not every girlfriend will have an issue. Fine? For many girlfriends it is cool. Cool, my, friend, my boyfriend is also smoking. 
I mean, not everybody will take it in a different way. It's our our constitution. But if you are Ignisha, Ignisha basically they will not like the smell of uh, cigarette. Cigarette smoke, no? That smell, they have a bad aversion. They cannot uh, take that smell. So they have issues with smell. Not only her boyfriend smoking, anybody smoking, Ignisha will not like it. Because she has got issues with smell. Some other girl may like some other person smoking, but you should not smoke because you are my boyfriend. <laughs> and smoking, you know, there is this ad now which comes. Ye nagi de. Mukesh, Mukesh. We have this ad coming. Right? And that girl would have seen all those uh, things, you know, hard going into problems, paralysis, emphysema. <gasps> my boyfriend also will suffer with all this. I don't want my boyfriend to become Mukesh. So, she is worried. That's a different constitution. Ignisha, Ignisha will not like uh, smell of tobacco. Okay? So, Natswamika, you know, they, they love tobacco. And for Natswamika, it is, it is stimulant. Sir, itna kam, I've got so much of work, I'm so much stress. This gives me relief. Work, one puff, and you know, I can work for three more hours. I'm not trying to glorify smoking. But this is what Natswamika has to say. Okay. See, each of them, they have their own mechanism. Many tell, if I don't smoke, I'll not, I'll not get pressure. Pressure to pass stores. It is all here. Okay, I don't want names, I know. Boys from their hostel, uh, they have their own experience and they want to share. Okay, so let's not take names, but very important here is, it is all here. So here, what you need to remember is, remember is, in Spagilia, tobacco is an element. And we slowly understand what tobacco will cause. Ailment from chills. Ailment from chills. Spigelia is a chilly patient. From this you understand. Spigelia is a chilly patient. They cannot, they cannot bear cold. Ailment from chills. And the last ailment, very important is, very good, ailment from worms. Ailment from worms. So please keep the four ailments in your mind and slowly we will try to understand where these ailments can be fitted. Okay. So we will speak of very important. This is the image we started with. Okay. And we will try to understand what Spigelia has to offer when it comes to headache. Okay. So now headaches in Spigelia, if you just look at the ailments from, it could be because of sun, it could be because of tobacco, or it could be because of exposure to cold. These three elements will hold good for headache. Okay. Now very important, you know, specially head can be beautifully explained under, under, what is that? Headings under which we explain. Very good. Location, sensation, modality, concomitant. What is it called? Complete symptom. Complete symptom. Boning Dr. Boning Basan. You also know this from your repertory. So, this is a beautiful area where one can explore under uh, the complete symptom. Okay. Now, where do you have the location? See, this is very important. As a budding homeopath, you know, each of our remedy, they have a specific area that it can affect. Sanguine area, I told you, it starts from right occiput, goes up, settles over the right eye. Which is the other remedy? Silesia. Beautiful. Silesia. Good. Before you change the remedy, Silesia. Silesia. Sanguine area. Okay. And I told you, Ignisia. Ignisia can be any damn area, but what is the condition? Sir, so, it's too sad. Only this much. Self is there. The entire head, no, 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 not the entire head, only this part. See, sir, touch here, this part. Ah, this part. Ignition. Okay? So, spigelia will have something very, very characteristic. Now, what is characteristic in spigelia? When I say characteristic, it is exactly opposite to sanguine area. Now, tell me the location. Now, tell me the location. Where, see, when I say exactly opposite, you did not ask me, 
What is that opposite? Now, I am I'm happy. Many of you are telling, sir, it starts in the eye and it goes. <laughs> Very good, beautiful thinking. I never had this thought in my mind. When I said opposite, what I had in my mind? Yeah, good. Very good. It's a other way of thinking. Beautiful. Good. So when I said spicy layer opposite means what I wanted. What did I tell you, sanguine area? Sir, it starts from here to here. Here to here is also opposite. Good. Now what is that opposite I am talking to you here is? Side. Very good. Remember, side is left side. Left side. So it typically starts in the occiput, ascends up and settles over the left eye. This is the location. Okay. See, when you study a remedy like this, with a lot of clarity, your examination, your results, your practice, everything will become very easy. Okay. There should be clarity. So left starting in occiput, going up, settling over the left eye. That is the location. First point. Okay. Now this is what, uh, thanks to Google Images, I could get this image. Okay. Going, see the arrow. It starts here and it goes up. Please remember this area. This is how the patients will come to you tomorrow. Sir, either from here it starts like a and it goes into the left eye. Same way they will explain. Because material medica is nothing but symptoms produced on healthy human beings. You will be shocked. Okay, they come to you in the similar way. So this is the location. Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll uh, forego this. Now, what you also have, apart from this, you can also have supraorbital neuralgia. Okay? Pain over the eye, eye, bro. And typically it will have, which side? Left side. Very good. So when you have anything to, you should be very, very clear which side. Left sided supraorbital neuralgia. One cause it to, one the location it to, and after that, what is the next very important thing? Sensation. sensation. Now again, sensation. Each patient will have his own way of exploring or explaining his headache. Now, how is it in spagilia? It's very important. Now, supraorbital neuralgia. See, uh, I just read this. It, you can think of spagilia in tension headaches, nervous headaches, migraine, periodical beginning in morning at base of brain. See, so beautifully written, spreading over the head and locating in the eyes, orbit a temple of left eye. So morning, you know, when they get up, it starts in the base of the brain, okay, the occiput, and slowly it ascends up and it settles over the left eye. This I have already explained. Now we look at the sensation, okay. What are the common sensations you are aware of? Huh? Bursting, common thing. Sir, pata jara. Sir, I feel my head will burst. Okay, common. Okay. Throbbing. Now, what is it that we, they have here? See, there is a sensation. I did look into Google images. Unfortunately, I did not get the right thing. But what they feel is, they feel the brain is coming out through the forehead. I'll just repeat this. The brain is coming out through the forehead is the sensation brain is pushed out through the forehead is the sensation they have in they have in uh, spagilia okay they have in spagilia so moving ahead you know sensation yeah now very important is type of pain type of pain what is the type of pain okay now we also ask this question how is this how is the pain each patient might have its, its own uh, variations when it uh, comes to pain. How is it in, in uh, this particular remedy? Pulsating, okay, pulsating, throbbing, violent pains. See, this is very, very important. Burning like hot needles. And pain is very intense pain. Tearing and pressing pain, okay? Now, what is important for you here is this point. What is it? Burning like hot needles. This is the type of pain. Spagilia will have. Okay, clear? Any questions here? Hmm? You go ahead. So what did we discuss? We started a remedy. 
What is the remedy's name? Spicilia. Spicilia. And when I talk of Spicilia, what are the points that should come to your mind? Spear of action, Alena. Nerves. Very good. One second. Nerves, Alena. Bracket, Alena. What do you put? It is not acting on normal nerves. Sensory, motor, no. Not like next one, Alena. It is not acting on sensory nerves. It is typically acting on trigeminal nerve. Very important. Second point. Eyes. Eyes. Third. Teeth. Teeth. Fourth. Heart. Heart. And uh, characteristic is head symptoms. So what did you understand till now on the head? We spoke of the location. Location. Left in the occiput going up into the left eye. Clear eye. And uh, uh, sensation in the right eye? As if the brain is forcing itself out through the forehead. Good. Type of pain in your other Okay. And those heart mirrors. See, why I am trying to tell you this is, see, once you understand spagilia, I don't think you need to buy that mug up. And trust me, this is a sure shot question for a final year student. Describe the headache of spagilia. And I don't want my student to keep giving a helpless look to the invigilator, sir, please. Are you not troubling your friend, Spaihilia? No. You should be confident enough to write. Okay? And confidence comes from knowledge. That is what we are trying to give you. Okay? So please focus, understand, so that you can be a confident student tomorrow. Okay? So we will get back. Now we spoke of location, we spoke of sensation, we also spoke of type of pain. Now what are we looking at? What is increasing and what is decreasing? Okay, aggravation and amelioration. Focus on this noise. Which remedy comes to your mind when we talk of noise? Natrum, Naxomica. Naxomica. They cannot tolerate noise. One more remedy when I use this, which is that remedy that should come? Huh? Very good, yeah, yeah. Peridia. Please don't forget Peridia. Yeah. I had a case recently, beautiful case, of a girl with a lot of psychiatric issues. Okay? And you know, uh, after we repertorized, uh, uh, you know, uh, spider remedies came up. And one thing we saw is, she would uh, literally close her ears. TV sound, any sound, somebody talking, very, very sensitive to noise. In this situation, please don't think of Maxwamaka. Please think of Teridia. And I feel so happy, so contented, satisfied when I see her today. Uh, you know, uh, forget about psychiatric issues. She's gone out of the psychiatric issues. Okay. She looks so healthy. Uh, she was not attending classes. She's come back to classes now. You know, beautiful case. And her friends who brought her to me, they are pretty impressed with what homeopathy can do. We were contemplating to refer her to Nimas. She was, you know, not under our control. We were finding it very difficult. But then, you know, I had given us Stramonium. With Stramonium, nothing happened. Then uh, the rubrics were considered, Tarantula came up. And remember, when you have a Tarantula, or when you have a spider, and the spider is very, very sensitive to noise, your remedy should be beautiful, Teridia. Please mark this. Please mark this beautiful case. I, I, you know, I see her every day and I feel so happy. What state she was and what state she is now, a single dose of pteridium could make all the difference. Okay, pteridium. Now here noise. Now another beautiful symptom we have is, see, spagilia has something very, very uh, nice, very, very uh, important. People telling, sir, my headaches, I have something very funny, peculiar. I have observed, as sun goes up, my headache also goes up. You are, you are understanding this point? So like you know, morning sun rises, his headache is also rising. And afternoon sun goes to the peak, his headache is also going to the peak. And slowly sun settles down. Fine? So by evening his headache also comes down. So as and how the sun is rising and going to the peak, his headaches also will go to the peak. So, headache, aggravation sunrise, and as the sun sets, his headache reduces. So, this is...
spicy. A better remedy? Netron, a better remedy is glone. Glone and glone. Sun aggravation. Never miss glone. Sunstroke. Beautiful remedy, glone. Okay? So, sunrise to sunset movement. What remedy should come to your mind? Brainia. How is it in Brainia? If it was Brainia, what should have come before this? Very good, good. Slightest movement. Slightest movement. To the extent, even he can't move his eyeballs. This is how patients will come and tell us. So please don't miss. Okay? So thinking, jar, any movement, smoke, we already saw. What is this? False step. You are taking a step and you know there is a false step and then they can have headache. False step, stooping. Stooping, bending, stooping. These are all the aggravating factors. Okay? Now what ameliorates? Pressure, rest, washing head with cold water. Okay? So when they have headache, you should have seen people, they keep their head under the tap and they, then they open the tap. So that water, you know that cold water they feel better. That is spagelia. And headache, lying head high, they feel better. Spagelia. So this is all you need to remember when we talk of spagelia. It can be for migraine, stress headache, tension headaches, you can think of spagelia. Okay? Headache associated with nausea. It's a common symptom of migraine. Migraine. Okay? Any quick questions in uh, spagelia headache? Hmm? No? We'll uh, go ahead. Okay. See, there are a few parts, points I would like to mention. Few things related to mind. Now, quickly, I don't know how clear the image is, but what do you understand here? And I'll just explain. At least, looking at the image, what do you get? Yeah. Very good, fear. Now, what is she afraid of is? Sharp. Very good, good. I'm happy with the interpretation. Uh, fear of pointed objects. Fear of sharp objects. Which is the remedy that should come to mind? Silesia. Very good. Good. No, yeah. The pin is what? Sharp. Okay. There are better remedies, but one remedy that should come up is Silesia. Good. Silesia. Second, you should also add Spigelia. Fear of sharp objects, pointed objects. Okay. Now, apart from fear, they are very anxious people. I am talking to you about the mind. They are anxious people. What are they anxious about? They are anxious about health, first point. They are anxious about future. And they are anxious about others. Three important anxieties you have in Spaisilia. Bundu, health, others and future. So this is with the mind. Nothing much. Okay? So we will quickly look at eye. Eye, eye, eye. So what do you expect under eye? What do you expect in the way? What is it? Okay, very good. Neuralgia. Ciliary neuralgia. Ciliary neuralgia. You know, the synonym is uh, cluster headaches. Cluster headaches. Ciliary neuralgia. Ah, ciliary neuralgia. So, Adik K is a very, very important remedy. Hmm? See, euphrasia did not have neuralgia. Allah. What did euphrasia have? More of inflammation. Use the word. It has more of inflammation. Now this is the clarity you homeopathic students should have. Not every remedy. See what generally happens. Tomorrow somebody comes to our clinic with eye complaints. Blindly. I am using the word eye. And blindly we all prescribe euphrasia. Now why the hell do we prescribe euphrasia? Because euphrasia is eye bright. Euphrasia is a very good remedy acting on the eye. But what is the problem the patient has come to you with? Okay? Is that matching euphrasia? No. And natural euphrasia will not work. And then you say, sir, homeopathy. No, sir. Some allopathic eye drops would have been better. Okay? So that is our partial understanding of homeopathy. And we fail. Okay? So you should be very clear when I say a remedy acting on the eye. In Marathe. What is it doing? Okay? Now somebody rightly used this word. Now what is this? Beautiful skin. Stabismus. Squint. Squint. Squint with worm affections. Andre? Ailments from? Worms. So a person who has got worm affection, 
and then it's got squint. Okay, you can think of uh, you can think of aphasia. Not aphasia. Aphasia is a remedy. No, clear. Okay, so squint. For example, you see a child who's got squint and is also got bone affections. Okay. Now, any quick uh, interpretation why there can be squint in a person with uh, worm affections? Quick. Which, which worm can cause uh, squint like in this situation? Can pin worms cause this? No. Which is the worm which can cause? Huh? Uh, pathology. No, filariasis. No, it's not filariasis. See, for example, a worm which can cause a brain pathology. You have heard of cysticercosis? If I am right, I'm the word. Okay, tinea, sodium. So, I mean, I assume that can put some pressure on the nerves and it can cause squint. I'm not very sure. I just got this suddenly. Before somebody asked me, sir, how can worms cause squint? Huh? Eh, pay cry eh? Bogus, bogus. Huh? Pass. It could be a possibility. I don't know. I might be wrong. But on this platform, suddenly what comes to my mind is probably the tinea sodium, which can cause a brain, uh, you know, uh, uh, what is it, cystic growth. They might produce such pathology. Not simple bone, spin bone. I don't think they will have all this. Okay, anyway. See, the symptom given in your repertory is squint with bones. They are not told squint from worms. You understand English. So squint is there and worms are also there. All on the combination only you can think of spidea. We are using our extra brain and we are trying to justify what could be the reason. Okay. One more remedy you can think of here. Stabismus with worms. And you know that remedy. Sina. Sometimes you should be confident. When you say worm, which is the remedy? Sina. So Sina and Spicy the only two remedies given. Okay. Now third thing, what you also have is strabismus and lacrimation. With with facial neuralgia, I'll talk to you a little later, there can be acrid and profuse lacrimation. Okay. Now third thing, what I told was ciliary neuralgia. We were talking about this. Cluster headaches, ciliary neuralgia. And you see any difference in this image? Huh? Eyes are? Eyes are big. Okay. See, here in reality eyes are big. In spigelia, there is a sensation as if eyes are big. As if they are having big eyes. They feel their eyes are enlarged. They feel. It's a subjective symptom. So feeling eyes are enlarged, ciliary neuralgia, uh, lacrimation and Screened with worms. Four quick symptoms. Okay. We'll go ahead and we'll try to understand. Under face, what do you expect? Yeah, Trigemina neuralgia. Trigemina neuralgia. Which side? Spicy laser, left side remedy. So left side only, trigeminal neuralgia rate. And with neuralgia, there will be lacrimation, profuse lacrimation of the left eye. Okay. Trigeminal neuralgia. Aggravation, touch, noise, motion, stooping. Hmm? These are the modalities. And uh, what is? Sphere of action, we also saw teeth. This remedy will not cause uh, caries and stuff like that. Yes, very good. Only toothache. Good. Only toothache. Toothache, better by smoking. Very characteristic. Why do you smoke? Sir, my toothache, no. I feel better. Okay, don't give all those reasons. Okay. But, but, this is something that can happen. Toothache, aggravation, eating, drinking cold, better, smoking. A better remedy is uh, a spider again and it is arania. Arania. Arania, duodema. So, there again you have smoking amelioration. Smoking amelioration. Okay, quickly looking at the other areas, we have uh, respiratory. Difficulty in breathing, very good asthma. 
So where do we indicate spigilia or what are all the indications of spigilia in asthma? Difficulty in breathing, there is some very important modality. Aggravation moving in bed, rising arms. When they raise arms, they feel uh, dysnic. Okay. So what are all the ameliorating factors? They have to lie on the right side, one, and they have to lie with their head high. Okay. You should have seen people keeping two pillows, three pillows. Well, not every time. Every time when you are keeping three pillows, don't take spigilia. What is there in spigilia? When there is difficulty in breathing, when there is asthma, okay, they feel better lying with their head high. Okay. See, there are a lot of remedies in homeopathy. I am exceeding my time. Sorry, prevention in the crystal in five minutes. So, uh, what I am trying to tell you here is, like, you know, must lie on head, lie on right side with head high. There are a lot of remedies. You know, I don't know if I have time to explain, but positions, asthma, better by bending head back, better by bending head forward, sitting upright, standing, dancing, which is the remedy? Asthma, better by dancing. Sepia. Only remedy is sepia. So, itara. Okay. So, we have few remedies. We should keep in our mind. Hmm? Uh, asthma, difficulty in breathing, the last area will be heart. Now quickly, remedies for heart? Distalis, cactus, cardus, naja, good. Aram, yeah, very good, Aram, agreed. Any other remedies you can think of? See now, we have, we don't have cactus, yes, good. We don't have much time to explore each of those remedies. But what you need to understand is, each of those remedies will have something very special. Few of them can affect the pericardium, few endocardium, few only valves. Like for example, Naja. Naja has special affinity for valves. Okay. So similarly, for example, Cretagus. What will Cretagus do? They say it is a hot tonic, which can improve the functioning of heart. And it can also remove those... Uh, what is it? Plaque formation, atherosclerosis, those blocks. Cretagus has the capacity to dissolve the clots, is what our uh, uh, books claim. Okay? Fine? So each of remedies, they have their own speciality. In today's class, we'll focus on spigilia. What will spigilia do? Can spigilia dissolve clots or spigilia acts on walls? Where exactly you see spigilia acting? See, when you read the books, when you read the books, it's a plant, it's not a very deep acting remedy. Now what you see is, it can be a very good remedy for, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, CHDs. What are CHDs? What comes on the CHDs? Huh? MI? Huh? Okay. So at least what you see in uh, Spigelia is, this is a remedy which is mainly given for angina. Anjana, Anjana, okay. Now Anjana, Anjana pectoris and you know as a medicine student, pain typically starts on the left side and it radius to your left hand, left finger, shoulder, okay. Yeah, severe or it can also go up, okay. So violent, you can see this violent compressive pains radiating to throat, arm or it can go to the sternum. Sternum. So this is where you see uh, the pains. Heavy aching in region of apex with feeling as if dull pointed knife are slowly driven through it. So the pain they have is they feel as if a knife has been pierced into the chest. This is the subjective expressions what what uh, uh, you know spigilia has. Hmm? And uh, see angina better by drinking hot water. Only remedy mentioned in a repertory is Spigelia. Only remedy. Anjana, better by drinking hot water. Okay? And Anjana, pain extends to the left scapula, left arm, and the whole left side is sore. This is what uh, the books give. Personally, I never use Spigelia for Anjana, but uh, uh, I don't know who this author is. Uh, in one book I remember reading, now, in allopathy, what do they give? They put sublingual, sarbitrate. So, a remedy 
which can act as quick as sorbitrate in homeopathy or homeopathic sorbitrate for angina is, is arnica. Is arnica. Okay, I 